It all revolves around the murders of sisters Biba Henry and Nicole Smallman in the early hours of June the 6th. Both were stabbed multiple times in Fryant Country Park, where they'd spent the evening celebrating Miss Henry's 46th birthday with friends. The two stayed behind as the rest of their group left at various times. Images posted on their mobiles show them dancing with fairy lights in the fields into the early hours of Saturday. Police say calls to the victims' phones at around 2.30 went unanswered. On the evening of the same day when the sisters failed to return home, family and friends reported them missing. Channel 4 News understands the following day, the Sunday, Nicole Smallman's boyfriend took it upon himself to begin a search. He went to where they were last seen in the park and found the bodies himself. He then alerted police. Now a number of complaints have been filed with the Independent Office for Police Conduct, which has begun a disciplinary investigation into allegations the police failed to respond in an appropriate way. It told Channel 4 News, the IOPC is investigating how MPS staff handled a number of calls from the family and friends of the two women who were concerned about their whereabouts between the 6th and the 7th of June. But there is worse to come. Two of the officers who were at the crime scene are alleged to have sent photographs on WhatsApp to their colleagues. Sources have told Channel 4 News the two have been arrested on suspicion of misconduct in public office and have been suspended by the Met. The IOPC described the allegations as sickening and told Channel 4 News the investigation relates to allegations that inappropriate photographs were taken at a homicide crime scene and subsequently shared with a small number of others. The MPS is handling matters involving those members of the public who may have received those images. In response to a series of questions we put to the Metropolitan Police, the force finally issued a strongly worded statement in which Commander Paul Brogdon states, I am horrified and disgusted by the nature of these allegations, a sentiment which will be shared by colleagues throughout the organisation. If true, these actions are morally reprehensible and anyone involved will be robustly dealt with. This deeply disturbing information will no doubt have created additional trauma for a family who are already grieving the devastating loss of two loved ones. I can only start to imagine the impact of this and I'd like to sincerely apologise to them for this further burden. I know the wider community will share our shock and repulsion at these allegations and whilst our focus remains with Bieber and Nicole's family, we are also listening to the concerns our communities and key stakeholders will want to raise about these allegations. The timing of this couldn't be worse, with an 18-day-old murder investigation requiring the help and confidence of the public in tracking down a killer. And Simon Israel joins us now with more. Simon. Hello, John. Yes, um, it's the issue is around what was in these photographs. And I have to be very, very careful here because I understand that some of these photographs contained images of the two dead women. And you can tell from the language used by the IOPC and used by the police and used by the mayor of London's office tonight that everyone is absolutely horrified at what is alleged to have taken place. At the same time, this couldn't be worse for the Metropolitan Police, given Black Lives Matters protests, issues around stop and search, issues around how COVID-19 has been policed in the capital. All this has gone to start worrying people in minority communities about what sort of relationship they really have with the Metropolitan Police. And as it so happens, uh, there has been very little over the last two or three weeks from the Metropolitan Police Commissioner, Cressida Dick, about exactly how the Metropolitan Police is dealing with these very, very sensitive issues around race. 
And what do we have here? We have the murder of two black women. We have a black family ringing the police, reporting them missing, and then saying that the police didn't do enough. And one of the girlfriends, uh, one of the girls, the women's boyfriends, having to go out to search for himself and come across their bodies. Simon Israel. Well, joining me now is the MP Dawn Butler, whose constituency borders the park where the sisters were found. What's your reaction to these allegations and the statements that we've heard? Well, Simon has just outlined quite graphically what this family has had to go through. And this is so dehumanising. You have to ask yourselves, why would police officers act in this way? Why would they treat a family so inhumanely? It is so disturbing that it's, it's just unthinkable. To take a selfie with two dead women and then to share that on a forum, on a WhatsApp group, I mean, it makes you wonder just what's going on and what these officers have been up to previously. The family deserves so much better than this. My heart goes out to them. Just imagine that they had called the police and the police did nothing. They constantly called the police and the police did nothing. And then their family had to go themselves and they found the body. Honestly, it is just one of the most disturbing things I've heard in a long time. And I just think, you know, Nicole and Viva deserve so much better. And I, and I just hate to think what the family is going through. I mean, obviously, these officers need to be sacked um, immediately. But also, I think there needs to be, uh, the IPC is going to do a review. But I also think there needs to be a review into past actions of this uh, these police officers, because this is how we eradicate structural racism, structural inequalities. This is where we get to the heart of it. I mean, it's, it's just so disturbing. It's unthinkable. Um, we obviously have to be very careful about um, the allegations, given that there's a, an ongoing investigation uh, into this and, of course, the investigation into the killings themselves. I mean, what is your message to your community tonight as they absorb this news in the context of the last few weeks? I mean, I actually feel quite emotional about it because I... It's a murder of two women. They were murdered. I mean, we've not heard much about it in the news. I mean, they were out celebrating it was 46th birthday and they were... It seemed as though they were... They have been murdered. I mean, they're dead. And then on top of that, it's compounded by this dehumanizing act by police officers who were there to guard and protect the sanctity of, of the crime scene. And instead, it just feels as though they were just having a laugh and being completely disrespectful to dead women who, who've been murdered. Um, it's it just takes my breath away. I suppose my, we have to wait to see what the outcome is, but there's hardly any words. I mean, it's so dehuman. What would make another human being dehumanise and disrespect two women who'd been murdered in that way? It's unthinkable. Dawn Butler, thank you very much for joining us tonight. Thank you.